Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today is actually, I believe, Monday the 26th of April and um, yeah, today I'm probably going to be doing a video on uh, the Target exclusive wave and just my thoughts on all that kind of stuff. I've already done like a news video covering it, but I want to make a video uh, just strictly on my thoughts, like what I think about the wave itself and um, kind of about like the Target exclusivity side of it and like why that's bad and how Hasbro should fix that, I guess. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be a pretty cool video, and I do have to film that real quick. But I do have to get some clone troopers out, so I actually have all these guys chilling in here, so I need to get this case open and um, get them out of there. Probably get like Rex, uh, 330 second, maybe Hunter, and then maybe Camino clone trooper, I don't know, some cool. Anyway guys, I think we're gonna use uh, this as our set, just these three, and uh, yeah, so let's go and get this video filmed. So we got that video filmed, and unfortunately it's a little bit later, we didn't get it up until about 10 o'clock, which does suck, but um, it is what it is. I need to start like pre-filming my videos a lot more in advance, uh, you know, so it doesn't end up coming out at 10 o'clock and I can get it uh, pre-filmed and ready to upload the day before, or even two days before, because you know, that's just going to be the more professional thing to do, so I'm not uploading videos at 10 o'clock, but I just don't have a lot of spare time to actually pre-film stuff. But uh, maybe this weekend I'll try to get to it. Anyway, right now, um, we do have this here. I did take, of course, the, I just knocked him over. didn't mean to do that. I did take the uh, glass, not the glass, the plastic, like, case off of it so I get Hunter, Crosshair, and the 332nd out. But I think I might move some of these guys around, try a different setup here, see how it looks. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just try some different stuff out with this, uh, with this, like, display. Hey, guys, it is now Tuesday, and, uh, I do have to film Ask Luke Ness Monster today. But right now, we have something to unpack. So let's get it open. So this is a package from, uh, GameStop. And, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped about it. What is this box? There we go. It was tricking me. This is like the weirdest box. There we go though. And uh, we have it right here. It is Crosshair. And you guys, like I always do, I will open this on uh, camera. I still have to open uh, Grief Karga from last week, but I will save that for later this week, of course. And uh, yeah, I just gotta get Crosshairs open, or Crosshair. I call them Crosshairs, because it's like how it's actually pronounced. People were, uh, like bang on banging on me in the comments for opening it from the top they're like he should open it from the bottom why would i open it from the bottom the tapes on the top why would i open it from the bottom no i'm opening it from the top i'm sorry it's just it's just how i do it and it's how it's gonna stay gotta say crosshair was the one like i was most excited for and besides echo he is my favorite bad batch member i love the uh the helmet but uh yeah helmet's very easy to get out same with the figure, looking very nice. This, These backpacks are always the hardest to get out of the package, so. Yeah, like crushed that package doing that, but. And then we have his sniper rifle and the blaster pistol, which is taped in, so I will get that out in a second. I do have to say, I think I'm liking Crosshair more than Hunter. Only because his armor, I feel like, is a darker color scheme, especially with, like, the gunmetal gray color on the bottom of the helmet. It looks really, really nice, and, um, honestly, I think I'm liking it more than Hunter's. I don't know, maybe it's just Hunter's giant, like, white uh, tattoo on the helmet there that throws it off, but, um, I'm digging crosshairs helmet here and um yeah definitely the one like of the bad batch so far that i think personally looks the coolest and um that might change once we get echo but i gotta say i'm really digging his character one thing i don't like is we actually have his like a hand right here that has the hole in it from hunter's uh, knife thing they just reused that same mold but didn't have the knife thing which kind of means there's a hole there instead of like remolding one of those but flipped they just reused that and it's kind of disappointing because now hunter uh, crosshairs has a hole there kind of sucks but um other than that he is uh looking really nice i love uh, and another thing i love about this character hunter has pretty much zero weapon storage except for his knife crosshair has a holster right here for his pistol and uh storage for his sniper on the back too so honestly crosshair has it all i'm really digging this guy take off the helmet and uh, 
I like the uh, tattoo of uh, like the crosshair. Probably hard to see from this angle. I do like uh, I do like the tattoo there. Uh, only thing I don't like is it doesn't really look like Tamora Morrison at all. Like the other ones, it kind of made look like Tamora Morrison. He does not look like him at all. And uh, it's a little something I'm disappointed about. Other than that, he's a great figure. And uh, yeah, you'll get my full review probably this Friday. So uh, this really weird thing just happened. So I'm, it's like 9.30 right now. I'm editing Ask Lugna's Monster. I just finished filming it, so I put all the clips into my editor, and there's no sound, which is just awful, because at first I'm like, well, this video's trash if there's no sound. So, you know, I plug in my headset, and I can actually hear it, though, through the headset. But I pull out the, the, the microphone, and there's no sound at all. So it's just like, what? How is there sound with the headset plugged in, but not with it out? I don't know. I gotta figure this out. And, uh, worst time to do it, because I'm trying to get this video out before 10 o'clock, and, uh, it might not happen now, so. Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. We do have a news video to film today, but, um, I haven't really talked about this a whole lot on the channel yet, but I am planning on doing some live streams, which is, uh, super cool. So I know I've been talking to a few other YouTubers about doing a collab and a different, like, a live chat or whatever. So I've been talking to Out of the Basement and, uh, Skywalker Hendrick. So we do a, uh, I think, I believe it's May 8th. We're gonna be doing a, a live stream at 7 o'clock. So make sure to, uh, stay tuned on my channel for that. It'll be really, really cool. But, uh, yeah, so the problem is I got everything set up, but my laptop has a front-facing camera and not a back-facing camera, and that's what I need. So I got a webcam off Amazon, cheapest one I could find, and, yeah, I'll see if it uh, works. Anyway, guys, I don't think I showed this in the vlog yet, but I did set up this little, like, island uh, ray thing for that. I think the blue looks really good for, like, the water there. kind of gives that effect. It looks pretty good. I think I'm going to switch this out, though. It's been up for, I don't know, three or four days now, so let's switch it out. I think I got an idea. Maybe go imperial themed. I got a cool idea with that. So uh, stay tuned because that's gonna look really. Anyway, cool. just set this up. Uh, I love. I'm using this light for like the window for the like Death Star panel in the back with the lights. There. It looks really cool. Do have of course some of the other stormtroopers here. Thought about putting Darth Vader in the front, but I thought that would cover up too much of uh, the like panel in the back. Uh, the panel's not perfect. I wish that the panel came all the way up to the top. But it does look all right, so um, yeah, I think it looks pretty. Hey cool. guys, it is now Saturday, May first. Uh, didn't vlog at all yesterday. Yesterday I actually live streamed, so I didn't get a review up yesterday. So I do have to get a review up today. But first, I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm thinking Wingstop. Wingstop sounds really good right now. So I think I might get some of that, and then I'll get home and uh, record my review for today. I think I'm thinking probably either Grief Karga or uh, Darth Vader there. Not sure which one, but I'm um, thinking Grief Card because I haven't actually opened him yet. I want to open him on um, on vlog for you guys. So anyway, just got my uh, my drink. Said about ten or fifteen minutes until uh, until I get my food. So yeah, the food is secure. Anyway, guys, uh, I do have to get my review for Grief Carga filmed. So, um, I will film my intro real quick and I'll get it unboxed for you guys. Okay, my uh, intro is filmed and now we're gonna pop him open. That is not wanting to cut. There we go. And I just, like, threw the box over. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Again, people roasted me in the comments for opening the boxes from the top. Don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, all four pieces of tape cut. And, um, yeah, let's pop him out. So I actually uh, never watched any reviews on this guy yet. I uh, normally watch, like, reviews on the figures. Didn't ever watch one on Grief Karga though, so so yeah, he is looking pretty nice though, and then we do have his two uh, pistols as well. Would have liked maybe another accessory, but um, I guess the two pistols is pretty I good. I just finished filming my uh, Grief Karga review, and I look over to my right, and I see this. My figure came off the wall because it broke, like the, the little tab came off. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to glue that back on. So, uh, Bad Batch is in a few days, so I'm trying to catch up on some of the Essential uh, Echo and Fives arcs. So, right now I'm watching my favorite episode, the Arc Troopers one. Pretty excited about that, and I uh, probably watched, like, Citadel and, um, maybe Umbara, and maybe even, um, uh, the, like, Fives Death arc as well. 8 o'clock in the morning, like, no one wants to do that, like... And then, like, Nate and I have had experience. So I was trying to get something off GameStop because they had a sale today. And um, I had 10,000 points, so I went and I went to get, like, a uh, 
like a whatever a certificate for 10 bucks off of your purchase but uh it's not showing up it subtracted the points says i bought it but it didn't give me any like code didn't give me an email like it gave me an email verifying the code or ver verifying that i bought it but it didn't give me any redemption code or any way to actually redeem the ten dollars that i just spent the points on and their thing said like go to your digital locker once you uh, buy points to redeem the thing it's it's empty there's nothing there um, don't know how to redeem the points. I'm about to call their customer service because this is very frustrating. I didn't, I don't know, dude. It's so frustrating. What the heck? They're making this way. Apparently, I've looked it up on like Reddit and different stuff too. They've been having this problem since like 2017. So it's very, very frustrating. Like what the heck? You see, even right here, it shows today, the the second redeem points 10,000, but it never gave me anything to show for so it. So now I'm really mad because... I uh, called their customer service, and, um, you know, probably about five minutes in, I finally got to the person I needed to talk to, and uh, that person's cell reception was so bad, I could not understand a word that they were saying. I had them repeated about uh, five times what they were trying to say, uh, probably sat there for about two or three minutes, just waiting for them to repeat it as it just got staticky and cut it out a bunch. And, uh, yeah, eventually I just hung up because there was no point waiting there another five minutes for them to just repeat the same thing that I can't hear. It's probably frustrating for both of us, but I don't know. I don't know if I should try calling them again, uh, hopefully getting a different representative or just losing my points. So I was going to get the uh, Elite Squad Trooper and Ventress, which were both on sale for like 16 bucks. And, uh, yeah, but I guess I'm not getting them now because, I mean, if I just lost their $10 point because of their, like, I just, but I lost 10 bucks from their, their points that I got for, like, signing up for the account in the first place. And it, I get, I don't know, it's one of those things, like, I don't want to buy from your store if your stupid website doesn't work and your customer service is so bad I can't even fix the problem. And this is really annoying for me because I really like GameStop. From them, they have deals all the time. They always have stock in store. But, like, this just sucks. And it really hurts me that the fact, like, I've been really, like, like in tune with GameStop, I feel like, lately. And this kind of just ruins it. And then they have, like, another, uh, like, a coupon code you can put in. It was, like, 10 bucks for, like, a loyalty program or something like that. You know, but, like, everything I tried to put it in my cart for, I put, like, several different stuff in my cart to try to just redeem the the coupon you said una just it just said like unable to apply code or something i'm like then what's the point of giving us the code if it doesn't work if it, this entire thing just feels like a scam I, I don't know i hate it though i'm i'm done with gamestop for today i just cannot